Um, I was happy. I was happy. I mean, it's he's someone that's definitely going to help us. Um, and first of all, uh, not first of all, but I'm also glad he got a contract. You know, it seemed like waiting this out. It's it's not a good feeling to have. You know, everybody already plays spring training, almost done, and you still don't have a job. That's not a good feeling. Um, but I'm glad he he's with us. You know, I've I've been watching him for years, played against him. Uh, for years in Cleveland, then in, uh, when he was in Boston. Um, and he's been one of the best hitters in the league for a very long time, so I'm super happy to have him. And um, yeah, I talked to Steve about it. He actually sent, the, sent us a message uh, saying, uh, J.D. Martinez. Uh, so yeah, that's good. That was the whole message? <laughs> um, I gotta go back and see the whole thing, but um, yeah, it was just, Jaden Martinez, so that, that's, that's a good thing. Was it common for Steve to text you guys during when? At least to me. Like? At least okay. when, yeah. Uh, when something's happening, I usually um, he, you know, he usually says it. But it wasn't breaking news because as soon as I go on Instagram, it was on Instagram. So <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was that something that you were expecting at all, based on talking with Steve and David? Of JD? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Not really. I mean, David said it earlier that they. If there was something to add on, they were going to do it. So I guess they studied the whole spring training, they watched, and they feel like they, there's something to, to that we needed, and they did it. You know, I, I said it. I like what he, he did during the offseason. I respect them both, um, and they're doing what's best for the team. I'm, I'm on board for that. We should be in a much better spot. I mean, we have a really good hitter um, that hit 271 with 33 and 104. Who, who, 107, maybe I think that's what it was. I'm pretty close with the stats. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty close. Right yeah, yeah. I'm pretty close with Are that. Are you auditioning one. for the TV booth already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I still got eight more years. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but if it comes down to that, I mean, I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still in the same boat. I'm in a boat where we believe we're good enough to be where we want to be. We got to play the game the right way. We got to back each other up. We got to continue to believe in each other. Um, and then let everybody else believe in, in us later on, you know? Um, but there's still a lot of people that believe in us. So uh, this is, it, it's just, that's just how I feel. I said it earlier, I don't feel like I'm, I'm an underdog. Um, I just, we're in a good spot, man, you know? And uh, actually we're in the same spot everybody else is. Nobody has won a game yet, you know? So, um, we'll be good. We'll be a good team. What do you think this says about the front office? That they're, they continue to work day in and day out, you know? Um, and Steve, it's someone that's willing to spend the money um, if he, the money needs to be spent. And Stern seems like he's he continuing to, to study the market and see what's happening, you know? Um, there's still more players out there. Um, I think yesterday there were two signings. I think with J.D. Martinez and Lorenzo, Lorenzo, Michael Lorenzo. Um, so there's still players out there. And teams got to go out there and sign those players because at the end of the day, they're good players. The players are going to contribute um, early in the year and late in the year as well. So, yeah, it just, um, I'm happy where I'm at. Um, I'm not content, but I'm, I'm happy. It's a good... Um, it's been a good spring training so far, and I feel like the team and the boys are um, in the right direction, moving in the right direction.